Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Jovita y Dar Progreso, El Progreso Park. Um, it's a beautiful morning to celebrate um, an amazing uh, canine for the Webb County Sheriff's Office and also this ribbon cutting of this dog park that would have his name. My name is Noraida Negron. I'm the Communication Administrator for the City of Laredo, and I would ask for everyone to please stand for our color guard um, that it is encompassed by the Webb County Sheriff's Office. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Before we start our program, I would like to recognize some of our special guests that we have with us this morning. We do have a uh, council member for District 3, the Honorable Mercurio Martinez III. Our District 5 council member, the Honorable Ruben Gutierrez Jr. Representing our congressman from District 28, um, it is Ms. Melissa Peña. Of course, our Webb County Sheriff, the Honorable Martin Cuellar. <laughs> Representing the City of Laredo, we have our Assistant City Manager, Mr. Steve Landin. We also, are, uh, we also have our Laredo Animal Care Service Director, Ms. Karina Lizondo. Our Parks and Recreations Department Director, Mr. Juan Jose J.J. Gomez. From our police department, we have our chief, Chief Claudio Trevino. And also we have our utilities director, Mr. Arturo Garcia. And please help me welcome all the canine units, or not all of them, but a few of the canine units of our, uh, a combined canine units of the uh, Webb County Sheriff's Office and as well as the Laredo Police Department. I would first would like to call upon our council member for District 5, Ruben Gutierrez Jr., to say a few words. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. I know we're all busy and we all have a lot of things to do. First off, I'd like to say thank you to the sheriff for having this idea, you and your daughter, Casey, of course, uh, for calling me up upon with this uh, dedication. I think it's a wonderful thing. What better way to remember Sergeant Denzo? He was not only a hero to the nation, but also with Webb County. He did a wonderful job when it came to his job, and he did, he did wonderful things when it came to helping out our nation. You know, fought several wars overseas, um, and that's just an amazing thing. And when he called me, and his, his daughter called me, and asked me about this park, I said, absolutely. So we expanded the park. We more than doubled its size. We added amenities to it so people can actually sit there and enjoy it with their dogs in, in, in the park itself. Uh, shade structure also, trees that we added to it. Uh, a lot of addition that we did to it. Canines, dogs, are a vital part of not only law enforcement, but us in a personal relationship. Because of the fact it's been shown over and over again with studies that dogs help us emotionally as well. And a lot of people, not only in Laredo, but in the nation, are suffering from emotional, um, emotional problems or mental statuses that just aren't, aren't perfected. And these dogs are shown that they help you plenty when it comes to reducing stress, uh, emotional um, problems that you may have going on in your head. And there are things that these dogs help you with phenomenally, great amounts. It's a wonderful thing. So naming this dog, this, this park after Sergeant Denzel was something very important to me because of that fact. It's not only because he's a veteran of ours and so much he did for our community, but dogs in general. It's a wonderful thing to have these parks coming about. And the city of Laredo, your council, your mayor, are all about um, the quality of life here in the city of Laredo. And this does it's that specifically. It does get the quality of life to be in a better position it is something for our community, not only for us, 
the community as people, but for our four-legged friends as well. When this project was come up, was brought to me uh, by the sheriff, I couldn't help but think of uh, a canine that we had growing up, myself and my brother. Uh, I was six years old, and we lived on Lion and Seymour, right by the water tanks. And we had a German shepherd. His name was Capi, for, short for Capitan. Five, six years old, that was a long time ago, by the way, a long time ago. City streets weren't paved then, so it's Caliche Roads on Seymour specifically. Lion was paved, but Seymour wasn't. We would try to cross the street, and each time you see a car, he'd just pull at us. You know, he'd, he'd really grab us and just wouldn't let us, wouldn't let us cross the street. <laughs> but he was wonderful. Uh, great thing. So it's just showing that these pets, these animals, do wonderful things for us. They really do. They protect us. They help us with stress in life. That's been proven over and over again. To all the directors out here, J.J. Gomez, thank you. I know this was a world of stuff for you to do it in a very, very short amount of time. Uh, we did take a while with that plaque, but afterwards it was certainly done, and I thank you very much, and I thank your staff. You did a wonderful job. To the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, thank you. I hope you all continue to still working together, especially with your canine units, because they do a wonderful job for our community over and over again. And I think the community sees that, that we're always improving when it comes to you all's relationship and your all's departments. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Council Member. Now I would like to call upon our District 3 Council Member, Mr. Mercurio Martinez III. Thank you. Um, and uh, th thank you to the Council Member. Uh, since he came on board, he's one of the hardest working uh, Council Members I know. Uh, and when the sheriff brought uh, this idea to, uh, to enhance the, the park and then uh, name it after a true hero because uh, Sergeant Denzo uh, served our country and served, him, served us well, uh, sniffing uh, bombs and, and uh, helping uh, when, whenever there was a fire going on uh, overseas. And, and he would go in there to make sure that that there were no more bombs in there to keep our troops safe. And uh, he was able to, um, to detect several uh, of those bombs. And so uh, it was only fitting uh, that this name, uh, Sergeant uh, Denzo, uh, come and be done here at this park because um, this park uh, is named after uh, Jovita, who was a pioneer in, in, in her own right. And so um, when the councilman got word of this, uh, he rolled up his sleeves and uh, I think everything else took a, a, a second because he made sure that, that this park was going to get done and to all of the staff that was out there that helped them get it done. So um, what a fitting name. Thank you all to who showed up here today uh, uh, in honor of this and, and uh, also for the sheriff who came up with these quite unique uh, uh, um, coins um, in in honor of uh, Sergeant Enzo. So thank you. Thank you, Council Member. And I think it's now only fit to call upon our Webb County Sheriff to say a few words about Denzo. I know you spent a lot of time with him. Thank you very much. I have to read uh, Denzo's um, bio because he has quite an interesting um, bio. Um, and I'll start with this. This wasn't my idea, really. You know, I brought it up to the councilman. But it was Casey, my daughter, that said, hey, we need to have Denzo's name out there, you know, forever. So that's why, that's why we, it, how it came about. And, and again, uh, councilman, I thank you. I thank all the councilmen that are here. Um, Chief, thank you for, for having your canines here. I'm very happy to see that because that's pay, paying a, a tribute to Sergeant Denso. So, so again, I'll, I'll start off with the, um, with the bio. Um, Sergeant Denso P505, in case some of y'all don't know, that's his uh, military ID. Um, he was born December 12, 2007. Due to his high intelligence, Sergeant Denso trained and was recruited by the U.S. Army. A highly trained combat veteran, Denzo served two tours overseas in Afghanistan with the U.S. Army Bomb Squad and saved many, many lives. 
He was trained to search for explosives. Sergeant Denzo took heavy contact from rocket propelled grenades and sniper rifle, mostly directed towards him. And why is that? Because there were bombs, you know, along the, the trails, and that's what Denzo was doing, keeping our, our troops safe. He was always 200 meters in front with special operation teams doing the tours, tours that he did overseas. He found, like you said, 20 explosive devices. Following his retirement from the U.S. Army, Sergeant Denzo started working in April of 2014 for the Webb County Sheriff's Office, where he was part of the K-9 unit to help secure county buildings from explosives. I was telling one of the um, uh, news reporter that, that I remember when we first started with, uh, with the Sheriff's Office in 2009, and I remember that there were calls, whether there were prank calls or what, you know, there were calls, you know, that there were bombs placed in our county buildings. buildings. And I remember that, uh, you know, right away we started our canine uh, unit, and I remember um, Officer Arellano Luis, which is directly behind me, um, he started one of the uh, canines that was assigned at the, uh, at the sheriff's office and at the courts, which uh, soon after that, you know, I remember that uh, the calls didn't come, come, come anymore because they knew that we were, we're being proactive and taking care of business and securing our buildings. Sergeant Denzo passed away in San Antonio on June 3rd, 2021, following a hard fought battle. He was a true leader and the entire community, I know it's gonna miss him, and I do want to say again, I want to thank the police department chief. Thank you for bringing your canines uh, and your officers. I want to thank uh, my canine unit for doing a tremendous job. Um, now we have a female taking, taking Denzel's place, which is uh, Officer Gala there. She's a beautiful and very, very kind dog, you know, and, and she does a great job, a very good uh, job. And um, again, you know, I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, naming this park, Dog Park, you know, after Sergeant Denzel. And I know Casey's going to see this and she's going to love it and uh, send her thanks to you and everybody here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sheriff. And without, I guess, further ado, let's do our uh, ribbon cutting. So I would like to have also our canines to help us out. We're going to be on this side where we have the plaque of the name unveiling for uh, Sergeant Denzel, okay? One, two, three. Yay. Congratulations, guys. Welcome to Sergeant Denzel's Dog Park. 